So I did a little bit of shopping over the weekend and I went into Vintage Paradise and picked up some really cute stuff. So I thought I'd compile it, put it all together and film a little vintage haul. Now I got this in my I have not filmed a haul in so long and I miss filming them because I just love chatting to you guys about clothes. It is my passion got a passion for fashion so I'm gonna do a vintage haul and show you everything that I've got for autumn and winter I'm so excited about autumn fashion I can't even explain I love coats tights boots the whole lot and this haul is definitely gonna include all of those things so if you guys enjoy make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell and follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok I do so much fashion content over on my TikTok loads of awesome outfit ideas I did a Harry Styles concert one the other day and just a bunch of stuff with me out and about with my friends in London wearing cute little outfits so make sure you check that out and I think we should get straight into the haul Woo! The first thing I'm going to start off with is coats. So I'm going to be trying on the stuff that I can in the video to show you and give you a little feel for the items. Obviously everything is vintage, but I can let you guys know the brand on the tag. I know fadly this one does not have a brand or any tags. Is the first thing that I bought. I found this on Depop. I'm getting so good at finding stuff on Depop, guys. I'm I feel like it's my full-time job finding stuff on Depop. I'm on it all the time. My DNA on Depop is so accurate because I'm always on it. But I found this on Depop. I've been looking for a navy afghan coat. I came across a few, but I just wasn't sure on them. There weren't pictures of it on the model. And I was like, I cannot. For the price that these coats cost, I cannot be taking any risks here. So this one... Actually, I did take a risk with this because the picture wasn't that clear. It was kind of a dark picture. But tip for Depop, when it's a bad picture, Sometimes that means the item's really good. There's no logic behind that, I've just decided that. Yeah, this coat is insane, it's so soft. It feels brand new, but it is vintage. It has that vintagey smell, but the condition is amazing. A lot of the time with this material, it can be really damaged when you get it, but it's perfect. It has the fur going all the way down here and on the sleeves, which is a must for these kind of coats. I'm just obsessed with it. I've worn it every day since I've got it. I mean, only like three days I've had it, but I'm obsessed with it. Guys, you need to be looking out for these. Look out for them in car boots though, because last year and the year before, I was finding these in car boots for £30 and they're selling for £300 now, so look for them in a car boot. So the next coat I got is from Vintage Paradise. Anything that I got from Vintage Paradise was really kindly gifted to me. It's not a sponsor or an ad or anything like that. They just give me clothes sometimes when I go in and I'm so grateful for it because they have the best stuff. They've actually just opened a shop on Brick Lane and I feel... I feel like proud and it's not even my shop. I'm like so excited about it. I went there yesterday. This is where I picked up all of these really cute finds. So I thought I'd show you guys in the haul and just kind of mix it into it. So I got this red leather jacket, which I have been looking for a red leather jacket for the longest time. I follow this girl on TikTok that has one and she wore it with red boots and I was like, oh my God, I wanna be you. <laughs> I want the whole outfit. And I actually do have red cowboy boots, but they're in London right now, so. I can't wear them to show you guys with this look, but I'm definitely going to be doing a red cowboy boot jacket look because I'm obsessed with red leather at the moment. I think it's so, so in. I mean, it's always been in and it probably will always be trendy, but ooh. Oh, I thought it was a penny. It's a button in the pocket. Disappointing. Yeah, this is the perfect jacket. It ties here. I, mean, I don't know how much you guys want me to go into detail of each item because I'm not sure if you'd be able to find the exact same one. But just for inspo, I'm loving red leather. This is from Leather Shop, Argentina. I'll just show you the label just in case you can find it. A lot of the time, Depop do have doubles of stuff. This coat here that I got from a charity shop in the Isle of Wight a couple years ago, this is honestly the best find. I think I bought it for about 20 pounds and look at it. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I saw this exact coat on Depop the other day. The brand is Jasper Conrad Jeans, and I saw the exact one on Depop. This coat is from Vintage Paradise. I don't know how I got so lucky. I was like, are you sure you want me to have these coats? Because I, I can't believe it. Look at this coat. It is so soft. It's literally perfect. It's the perfect size. I do feel a bit like a pimp in it. It's so cozy, oh my gosh. I just feel like a million dollars in this coat. I feel expensive. I feel like 
no one's gonna mess with me. Actually, I was wearing this coat yesterday and this guy was creeping on us and he came to the shop window and he was literally staring at us. He was there for so long. I mean, it was probably like three minutes, but it felt like an hour that he was just stood there like this. And he was like pretending to look at the lingerie and I was like, you're not fooling anyone. He'd followed us to the shop and was stood there. So the coat really didn't do anything. This top is also from Vintage Paradise and I am in love with it. Look at it. Like actually look at it. It's so fun. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna try it on for you guys now so you guys can see it on. So this is the top. I don't know if it's nipply or not. I can't really tell, but I'll just cover my nipples. Um, it's so cute. Look at it. It fits really nicely and has a nice hang to it. This skirt is also from Vintage Paradise. But I would wear this every day for like a nice dinner or drinks. This is just, oh my gosh. And when it hits the light, the little um, sequins on it are so, so pretty. This is a moment. Ready? Ta -da! Oh my gosh. Wait, this is really cool together actually. I also have the perfect boots to go with this that I got yesterday as well. These are actually really comfortable and they're kind of, they've got a cowboy heel to them, but they're not actually cowboy boots. They kind of have the, they're like an in-between because they have the cowboy shape, but they're not actually cowboy boots. But the bottom is gel, so they're so comfortable. But these are the boots, they fit me perfect. I think they're like a size four, yeah, four. So I put on the next item it is this little top. I'm just gonna check the brand of it because this one you can definitely find somewhere. The brand is M&S. Wait, are you for real? <laughs> I feel like this can't be from M&S. Maybe it is. I'm gonna try this one with the red leather jacket because I really like baby blue and red. I feel like honestly red goes with anything. Like you pair it with pink, white, navy, light blue, black khaki i love khaki at the moment i actually got some khaki cargoes the day and they would be a real cute they would be real cute with this outfit i feel like i'm gonna try them on let me just try them on so i just realized i left those in london i think but i have some similar ones these are from urban outfits they're more of a darker khaki but actually it works really well with the khaki here this outfit is a whole vibe so from Vintage Paradise, I got this red disco top, which I saw it and I was like, hmm, I'm not sure about that, but it's so cool on. I actually love it and I don't have many red tops and I love the gold. I think it's so fun. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like I should pair this. This just wasn't meant to be a styling video, but it's turned into that. I feel like I could pair it with this little leopard hat. I got so many questions about this. I got it from um, a pop-up, but the brand is Sint... Oh my god, it's from Marks and Spencers. Why is everything from Marks and Spencers? I swear, this is so weird. I'm not being funny. Where are all the grannies walking around wearing this? Because I haven't seen any. Giving off like beef eater, standing outside Buckingham Palace vibes. But I think it is, look, <laughs> it's a vibe. I'm going to try it on with my little coat. I don't know if this is too much. Sometimes people comment like your outfits don't match. Like it looks like you've just thrown stuff together. And it's like, that's exactly what I've done. I've just thrown random stuff together and I love doing that. I love mismatch. I love colors clashing, patterns clashing. That's my favorite thing to do. And if you don't like it, you don't have to wear it. I like wearing it, so that's all that matters. And this is a really fun outfit. I'm probably gonna watch this video back and be like, what the fuck, that's awful. But for now, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking this is quite cute. I'll show you guys some cowboy boots that I got because I only have my red pair and they are honestly my favorite. I wear them so much. Oh, I've got hat hair. Um, I love them so much. I got those red ones on Depop for a really good price actually. If you check Depop every day, you will come across some perfect cowboy boots. And I got these ones from Outsourced Clothing, I think it's called on Depop. She has a bunch of cowboy boots over on there. Um, these, I say with cowboy boots, stay true to size, but maybe go half a size up. These are so comfortable. Another thing with cowboy boots is get them vintage. Also, it's just better in general to get them vintage, but they're so much more comfortable when they're worn in a bit because Liv has some that she got from Topshop a while ago. And this part, because it's not worn in and floppy, it rubbed on her legs so much that she was literally bleeding. So she can't really wear those ones out. But I would say, yeah, definitely go vintage for those. I also have a few tops that I'll show you guys that I got from Vintage Paradise, and then this one here is from the Finds pop-up that I went to. So yeah, this is the one from the pop-up, and it's so cute. I posted a picture on Instagram in it the other day with Emily, and I love it. 
so cute i love the little details here the rest of the tops i'm going to show you are from vintage paradise this is a really really cute spotty top with detailing up here little bows it cinches in at the waist and it has the lettuce hem at the bottom which is so flattering on i just saw this on the hanger and i was like this is just gonna be so cute i love it and yeah this is jane norman and i got this tankini from vintage paradise oh my god <laughs> guess where it's from i know i'm joking guess where it's from Comment down below, three, two, one. It's from m &S. Are you joking? This is a really cute tankini, very flattering on as well. m &S. you guys know where to go. I also got this little floral slip from Vintage Paradise. But this one I definitely cannot wear outside, but I think this is more just for lounging around the house. Really nice. I love the lace going down, it's so pretty. And then it has a V back and tie up there so pretty the brand of this there's no brand on it but i feel like it would be from somewhere like la sensa that's the feeling i'm getting wait oh it does have a label wait i swear i just oh my god it actually is from less oh it's la sensa yeah it actually was wow that was a pretty good guess so i picked up this red bag that has these like wooden buttons all over it it's so so cool and I love the straps, it has beads on it here, and they're kind of like, they look like they'd be those elastic-y strap bits. Am I describing this really weirdly? Um, the brand of this is East Editions, and I really, really like it. I thought you could fit a good amount of stuff in here as well, because it does open up. And yeah, this is definitely going to be my go-to for autumn, winter. And I got some jeans from Vintage Paradise, which are so, so nice. They fit me really well as well, which is great. Their BF collection, classic jeans, and super cool. They have these hooks going all the way around, and they have a kind of darker wash going into a lighter wash on the back pockets. And then it has this band going through the hook and tying up there. It's just a really nice shape. I feel like they're very year 2000s, Britney, Paris Hilton-esque, which is the vibe that I'm always trying to go for. And finally, from Vintage Paradise, I got the fluffiest cropped afghan coat you will ever feel. I mean, you guys might not feel it, but I can feel it, and sure, trust me, that it's the softest thing I've ever felt. The brand for this one is Good Look, and it's this brown. Oh my god, the inside is like so soft. This is so soft. It has these ties here, which at first I wasn't sure about, but actually, it's really cute. Look, tie it like that. Oh my, I'm going to wear this today. I'm going to wear it. I, I kind of wish it did have the fur on the sleeves, but you can't have everything. So I'm going with it. This is the end of my haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got some autumn winter inspiration. I had so much fun. I feel like I should start bringing back my vintage hauls more often because I love them and I love showing you guys what I find. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell and follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I don't know which way around it is. TikTok, Instagram. But yeah, I do loads of fun fashion content over on there and just daily every day what i get up to in life so if you guys want to check that out then the links are all down below on the screen and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh baby i love your madness it's so